I want your input on Fisher and Pickle oven problems. Fisher and Pickle oven seem to fall apart right after the warranty expires. That means they have good actuaries. A bigger problem they have is that it costs a lot to fix them, especially factoring in their lower purchase price. So they want you to buy a new oven, not fix the old one. Their customer service is slow to schedule service and eager to find reasons not to cover anything that fails before the warranty goes bad. So it is cheaper and faster to get a new oven by someone else sometimes. Give me specific details as to what goes wrong with them. It takes a month to get a new thermostat for your $3,000 oven. Okay, that's tacky, especially when they don't have the excuse like exotic European appliances of having to get the part from overseas. Their ovens have lots of settings on the control panel, but the control panels start having problems just a few months in. I'm assuming this is something a reboot does not fix. No, turning it off and back on does not fix it. And when the control board needs to be replaced, if takes three weeks or more even after their tech says it needs to be ordered. While my kids may like a month of ordering out, my budget won't. The control panels and circuit boards you get are often used and salvage, so it is more likely to go out than the original part. I'm guessing that actually diagnosing the error code and fixing it short of replacing lots of parts and hoping it works isn't an option. I read a repair guy's blog saying they are hard to diagnose, in part due to their complexity. It's an oven, not a car with cruise control, dual climate control and emission controls. It just has to heat up and stay at that temperature for as long as I want it. Their ovens have problems getting up to temperature and having slow heat times. Their convection elements used for preheating especially tend to go out. If the oven does not preheat, it may not turn on the main elements. If the convection element dies a lot, that means I have a lot of time waiting for it to eventually warm up enough for the others to kick in. I've heard stories of preheating taking as long as it would actually take to cook the food. At least replacing the convection heating element is not very hard. Their other heating elements are as likely to short out too. If you're lucky, your problem is just a cracked door or a seal letting out heat. The cosmetic warranty for a damaged door is 3 months, less than even the parts warranty.